All right, so we're back at this thing. I just spent two days sick. Uh, what is going to happen here is we are going to be putting all new tires on this tractor. Two new front tires, two new rear tires. This rim is okay. It's just going to have to be cleaned up and painted. Uh, this rim here is, I'm going to call it junk and buy a new one and then break it apart and do what we got to do. Uh, my nephew was working on, or Grant was working on cleaning this part of the tractor out. Um, new cab interior kit, things like that. Oh, what the heck else do we need? I need side screens. I need probably a couple tie rod ends on this. To you know, it's just going to be a a rolling parts list. This filter is junk. I'm going to replace it. I we put a new one. New one of these in, new uh, secondary air cleaner, but primary has got to be replaced. Uh, I don't know if that starter is even going to work, to be honest with you. Um, we'll find out when we do the actual startup. But um, today I'm going to go and I got to get parts for the skid steer and I have to get new filters, air filters, two fuel filters. It has decent hoses on it, but you know what? I bet they're not. I hear air. Yeah. Oh, what's that? It doesn't have decent hoses on it. It's got no hoses on it. Junk. Upper and lower. Uh, upper and lower radiator hoses, obviously. Um, yeah. All right. Time to get a list together. Um, yeah, time to get a list together. So the 4440s, I think they had two two uh, filters in there. This is a 4430, just so everybody knows. I've told this story a few times. This was my grandfather and grandmother's tractor. This came to the farm brand new in 1977. I was in kindergarten. It was the first day I was allowed to stay home from school to, um, to be on the farm when this new event happened. So this was the new event. Uh, I do have uh, I do have ambitions to paint it. I would like it to be, you know, restored. I'm going to buy a new cab interior for this tractor. You can get them with the black, uh, the black interior, which is what this one had. There's issues with that seat. I have rebuilt it years ago, but there's still issues with the seat. That is a spring ride seat. It is different than the 4430s or the 4440s. They had uh, hydraulic ride seats in them, at least the later ones did. Um, when we pulled it in here, actually dented the fuel tank. So we're going to have to fix that. Uh, it's not hard to do, you, uh, and I'll show you how to do it. Um, but yeah, I do have some filters here. This is a Napa filter. That's a Napa filter. This obviously these two are deer. I'm going to go ahead and buy a deer oil filter along with the air filters, upper and lower hoses, and this pump because this pump is not working. I'm going there right now. Right now. All right, so a couple years ago I put a new battery in this tractor. And I I specifically did not put the grease on the base plate of this box because the radiator I don't want that grease to get like blown up in there so I have to track down my scraper uh, I've taken the old battery out you're gonna go to Aunt Beth's all right go ahead this battery I put in in 2018 where it was shipped in 2018 I think it was 2018 anyway uh, it's about that time that I put it in about 2018 so it hasn't been a terrible long amount of time that it's been in there my problem is I can never find those scrapers huh no, the scraper the, the, it says Kubota on it <laughs> oh, I have two of them, three of them actually, that's a, that's a regular putty knife, yeah, it says Kubota, when I bought this, and I think I posted it, it said, uh, um, may cause cancer, this thing, I thought it would may cause, um, only in California, proposition 65, right, old Gavin Newsom, everything will kill you, so we got to tax you for it. 
useless piece of shit. And they want him to be president. Anyway. <laughs> government will take care of everything. From cradle to grave, the government will take care of everything. Isn't that what they say? Yeah, that's what they want. I'd rather be autonomous. Fuck the government. Those assholes don't even... They, they don't... Huh, man, I tell you what, I could get into an argument with myself right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, fuck the government. <laughs> government. The government taxes us to give it away to people that don't belong here, to countries that now just legalize the use of marijuana on our tax dollars. Right? Federally, it is illegal to buy, sell, and grow Mary Joanna. I am not one to uh, partake in any of that stuff. I think it is foolish for anybody that does, for that matter. You know, some people are like, oh, well, it's, it's not as bad as alcohol. No, it, it, it's a gateway, just like alcohol. Stop doing it, don't do it, and you'll never, ever have the problems that are associated with it. But no, no, we're not that smart. So, anyway, whatever. Now, I kind of just figured out why they've legalized these marijuana farms in this country. And they're huge. Because they're going to legalize it in other countries like, well, let's see. Uh, Ukraine just legalized it for its citizens. Well, where are they going to get marijuana in that war-torn country? Hmm. Yeah, they can't hardly even produce the food that they need to produce because they're in a war. But they're going to get pot. I guarantee you that the good old U.S. of A. supplies it to them. Yep. So, anyway, uh, enough of that crap. I'm going to go ahead and put this battery in. I got it on the charger. Um, I've got this, oof, I've got this grease that my former tr truck driver had uh, brought over here. And we use it kind of sparingly. Um, because it is actually like a graphite grease graphite grease some kind of metal anyway it almost looks like never sees maybe it's aluminum oxide who the hell knows I don't know but you put it on things like this because it binds yeah I just contaminated the whole grease pot I don't use it for lubrication in sensitive areas I just do it for this stuff he had a Toyota pickup truck I think his son now since crashed it because his son's an idiot. He's another one. Drugs, alcohol, heroin, shit like that. Ruined his fucking life. He's my age. I went to school with him. And he can't get his shit together. When he does, he has he makes really good money, but then anyways, whatever. He had this pickup truck and you know that Toyota had all those rotten frame things with their Toyotas. Right? Yeah. Well, guess what? My truck driver, he didn't have a problem with his frame because he coated it with this grease. And when he took it in, they were like, you don't need a frame. There's nothing wrong with your frame. What did you do? You know, what kind of undercoating is this? And he's like, well, I used this, this outdated grease that came from a paper mill someplace. And uh, they were like, yep, well, that did it. So when you put grease like this, you know, my brush is history because anyway, I'm going to stick it back in there. Um... That, that grease, it binds to that metal, and it'll stay there the whole time. My problem with it is, it's in front of that radiator, so it's going to build with grease or dirt, but it'll be under that battery, so I guess I don't much care. Uh, I'll have to come back in for that grease again anyway. Um, but anyway, I'm going to sling that bitch up in there. i got to clean up the terminals and then uh, hook her back up. I did have a terminal brush. Do you know where that thing is? Silver looking thing. I have no idea where it's at. <sighs> Once I get the battery in, I'm going to come in and blow that out. Um, well, this tractor will get serviced uh, before spring anyway. And uh, servicing these tractors has gotten wicked, wicked, wicked expensive. Um, I just bought for the 4430. I just bought... Oh, what is it? Between... Yeah, $2,500 worth of, $2,500 worth of stuff for that thing. It doesn't look like it got anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
this. All right. Well, that's that. stubborn ass thing. Huh. Okay. Let's try this thing. Ow. Ow. Alright. Maybe. <laughs> I don't see it, but I got the toothbrush. Ah, it's useless. Um. That won't work. Yeah, I'll have to find it. Okay. I can use a heavy, it's a heavier one, but I know I have that damn thing. I got two or three of them. They're just one of those things that people walk off with. And, but I'm talking about Tim. He walks off with shit and then doesn't bring it back and it's gone. Then when you ask him about it, he'll go, I don't know. And then three months later, you find it in his bench. Yeah, just, what, laying, laying over there by that. what are you talking about? What are you talking about? A ratchet? No. Oh. What are you talking about a ratchet? What are you with me? Oh. You're holding the ratchet. I thought you were talking about I wasn't talking to you. Oh. I was talking to you. Oh, that's what you got me. Well, who are you talking to? Me? Yes, you. Oh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. No, where's there a ratchet? Oh, when you try tried to start that old car in there, you, there's still tools left in there. What old a car? Ratchet? Oh, tractor. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a tractor in that shed. Oh, t the the green one. Well, there's tractors all over the place. I don't know. That's Tim. It might be in there. There's there might ratchet. be. And you know what? That might be where that damn thing's at. There's a ratchet. It's been laying in there since November. All right, I'm going to go find my shit. Yay, I can work again. Dad's going out that way. He's going to load Tim. So, the camera decided that it was too cold because I magnetically attached it to this, and it is below freezing. And the DJI, op, what is this, Os Osimo? Two, I think that's the Osimo two, the Osimo whatever. Doesn't like cold or hot. So I put the battery in, greased it, tightened it up, put the charger on it. I'm gonna let the charger run. That's the battery out of that tractor that Dad just left with. Um, for some reason, I think the alternator on that other tractor is getting weak because, yeah, because I didn't think it started up as nice as it shoulda. When we first put that battery in, it fired right off, and then and now it's back to, well, maybe. So, I'm thinking the alternator's gone bad, so I'll have to change that out. But this tractor, this one's got a, this one's good. Um, what's next? Oh, well, I'm just going to let it charge tonight. Got the new hood coming. Uh, got a few more bits and pieces that have to be bought for this hood yet, uh, for this tractor. These, these all come with it, but there's a panel that goes in here, plastic gizmo. It's bolted there, sits on there, bolted over there. Well, I need to get that one. I forgot about it. Uh, this is the tractor that got hit by the building that was above the dryer years ago. Cracked it there. That crack was from Cody and Tim, and the upper crack was from Cody and Tim. They dropped it and broke it. So, uh, you can take guesses as to how much it's going to cost or how much it costs. It's a complete hood with the screens and all the latches and everything in it fully assembled. Hopefully it has this and the decals, but I'm going to call them tomorrow and find out because I told them what it was for and I don't know if they put stickers on or not. If not, well, you know what? I got a feeling that it'll come with these stickers here. Yeah, I hope it comes with the, with long, ones. the long ones, the but the numbers are something that I'm going to have to come up with because that's one sticker and then the 8120 
is for the tractor that it'll be but grant got done cleaning the inside out of this one i have to get the i have to get the globe attachment for up there this tractor is green star ready it has the well the plug for it is up there but it's for the old itc so i have to get the converter for the 3000 globe and i can put the monitor in here i'd like to actually plant corn with this one because this is a heavier tractor than the 81 or the 6210r not as comfortable but it'll work so that's that's the plan if not well fuck it i'll just plant with the other tractor anyway yeah that's that Baylor's going to be coming together. What do we got? Parks got delivered yesterday or today. Some got today. We've got, got some. A whole, bunch got a whole bunch coming. I don't know what the ETA on those are. I don't think I have. Yeah, I do have an ETA. We don't really need much for it. Uh, bushings and pieces. That's about it. Uh, I got to buy a couple tires for that. This one over here? Yeah. Okay. I think it's the rear one. Yeah, I knew there was one that was real fugly. Oh, it's like a six inch crack, about three quarter inch wide. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So I knew that was going to happen. My problem with those is you start hearing them stretch. Yeah. Then they, you know, yeah. when it's cold, it isn't going to do it. But when it's hot, you'll just hear a stretching sound. I had one, I was, I don't know if I caught that on film or not, but I was taking a leak and I hear the stretching noise. And I pulled my pants, you know, zipped my pants up, and then kaboom, she went. But, yeah, there's just a lot of little weird things that need to be replaced on this. Uh, eyelets underneath, you can see they wear. What happens when these eyelets wear, they, they actually uh, cut the twine. Um, there's, what's on the other? There's a bolt missing here. That needs to be re put in. Uh, you know, just little things that you see here and there before we start the the summer has got to be ready to go so anyway yeah that's just the plans